How many of you still think you can't use twos for any type of thing? You're still spreading your notes and information across many different apps. We recently had a user named Kevin, shout out Kevin, who messaged us saying that he had a breakthrough of how he organizes his information in twos. He had a small perspective change in how he saw lists versus notes in other applications. And yes, twos is an app for writing things down, creating lists of things, writing things on days but it can also be used as your notes app and an app for writing. A lot of other tools manage their information in notes, documents, or pages. And we think of those as the same thing as lists. In a document, you may have a list of paragraphs, and we would just say that that is a list of long things. I've personally been using twos this way for many years and never touch a Google Doc or a Notion page or an Apple Note because I can keep everything organized in twos. Kevin thought it would be a good idea to make a video on this to explain lists versus notes to help people see this perspective and see how they can use twos both personally but also professionally in business to manage and organize any type of information. So I obviously use twos for planning my days but I also use it for writing out scripts. I use it for book notes to remember important things from books. I use it for meeting notes so we can revisit past conversations and things that we've learned from other people. We use it for our monthly twos letter that we're able to share with investors and advisors so that they can see what we're up to. And you can even use it for trip itineraries or just being able to journal and remember things about trips you take. These are all individual things that we wrote down, but you can easily write out paragraphs or I use it for long form journaling, any type of thing or any type of information that you'd like to write down, remember, and keep organized. One feature that he mentioned that he thought was particularly useful is considered a backlink, which in twos we just refer to them as sublists, but they're a way to nest lists inside of multiple other lists. So this is a book that I'm reading called Quiet by Susan Cain. And we can see that this links back to the current books that I'm reading, as well as the books that I'm reading in 2024. But you can nest these things inside of multiple other lists. In those other platforms, these would be considered a folder. So you could have a document that lives within one individual folder. But in twos, we just use links. So if I go to my 2024 books list, I can see these book lists are just nested inside of here as sublists. So I can drop these down within here or I can open them individually. But you can do the same thing for projects and breaking down a project list or meeting notes and breaking down each individual meeting, even blogs or writings, create a new note or a new list for a particular blog. And then you wanna organize those blogs all together in one. It's the same concept, but it creates these links back and forth between the two. And the whole folder notes or pages inside of a folder or documents inside of a folder is the same thing in twos with sublists on lists. And a sublist is just a thing that points to another list. I hope that was helpful in a different perspective on how you view twos and how you could potentially use twos. Thank you, Kevin, for sharing your insight with us so that we can make this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and have a happy Tuesday.